obviously uh, feel very blessed that it didn't uh, skate that hit my eye. Uh, very lucky. So right now I was just dealing with uh, the cut and the stitches and the, the soreness from that. So other than that, my eye's good, and, and uh, I got on the ice today and felt pretty good. Uh, I mean, it happened really quick. Uh, I think the centerman was reaching for the for the face off the puck, and I came through to kind of help out Glenny and. The skate just came up, and right away I knew something bad would happen. And, and um, I guess my first reaction was just get off the ice and, and get close to, to the doctors as I can. So I didn't know what was cut exactly. Uh, I knew it was my eye area, so I wasn't sure if my eye was gone or, or what was going on. So my first reaction was just get get to the doctors and, and the people that could help me. Uh, it, it was actually, it took a little bit of time because uh, there was so much blood, in, and I was holding the towel. Uh, up against it, so there was a lot of blood in my eye area, so I couldn't see as well right away. But once they got it cleaned out, and I was able to, to look with both eyes at the doctors, looking up at them. So uh, it was a, a big relief there, and uh, very fortunate and happy that uh, nothing bad happened there. I was I wanted to come back in for the third. I it took a while to get stitched up. I was back there for a while, but I think uh, all the doctors came to the conclusion that. And my wife, that I probably shouldn't go back out just for the the sake of not ripping the stitches and and just uh, it was pretty deep too, so um, in the cheek area that just to kind of let my body rest and and uh, not go back out there with whatever shock or or uh, emotional drain I had from it. I would like to play tomorrow. I think we have to talk to some more doctors and and kind of see how my face reacts. Um, I mean, I guess maybe the next 24 hours to see if the swelling gets worse or, or uh, how that is with, uh, with skating. I don't know how it will react. So uh, I have to say, well, wait tomorrow and see how things kind of re hopefully get better. Uh, I think right away you think, man, I'm gonna, I lost my eye and my hockey career is over and my life is going to be totally different with with uh, losing an eye. But thank God it was quickly. I we found out that it wasn't that. And, and <coughs> Yeah, I mean, you just you're thankful for it, and, and uh, definitely puts things in things into perspective. I mean, right when it happened, my first reaction is like, oh my god, my eye's gone! Like, I hit so hard, and and uh, it was right across that area, and there's so much blood right away that I wasn't sure if if it cut my eyeball or what had happened. So I wasn't I wasn't sure. Uh, nothing like this. I mean, you get hit in the visor or stuff like that with puck sticks, but. I've had some stitches in my in my face and mouth and area, but nothing. I mean, this is the first time it's this is something like this has happened. Even close, I've never had skates come close by me. But um, I guess someone's looking over over me on the ice out there last night because I don't know how it missed my eye. I mean, you can see it, you know, right across the, that area. So yeah, Bobby Ryan. Uh, I played with him in Anaheim, so he called me from the plane and just checked in on me and said that. Obviously, he didn't mean to do it, and he hopes everything's all right. So, um, I mean, I, I don't blame Stone, and it's, I mean, it's a game. It's a fluke thing that happened, and, and uh, yeah, I'm just happy that everything's all right right now. Yeah, a lot of family and friends been texting and checking in, so it's, uh, I mean, I appreciate all of them looking out for me and, and, and asking. So it's uh, it's been kind of a crazy uh, 10 hours or so. It came from the bottom, so it was just one of those things where, uh, it's one of those things that you wear just a visor, you don't have a full face mask, so it's it's always out there that it could happen, and uh, you don't see it happen that often. So it's one of those plays that you just never, hope never happens to you, and when it does, you just hope it's minimal, and I got lucky with this one. 30 on the outside, I think, and there's a bunch on the inside. There's different layers, so I'm not sure exactly what the total count was, but I guess Beamer knows. I think we're going to talk to some plastic surgeons and, and see if there's anything we can do to minimize the, the scarring, but I would anticipate some kind of scarring there. And I told uh, the doctors, a good thing I'm married and my wife loves me. And, <laughs> and, uh, so it's good. Yeah, I, had no, I had no problems right now. I, I'm looking at you guys like I looked at you guys uh, every other day. So um, no problems there. It's just uh, the swelling's a little bit. Um, puffy on the bottom, so uh, it's just a little bit awkward to, to look around sometimes. This is a different feeling having that, that swelling there. I mean, it happened so fast. I, I would like to think that, like watching the video, the reaction, I kind of pulled myself back a little bit, and I mean, it happened so fast. It was just reactionary. It wasn't something I was like, I saw it coming. 
it just if I saw it, it was just my, my reflexes, I guess. I don't know. How does it compare with some of the other injuries you see in the ice? Facial injuries. You've seen, yeah. seen some bad. Some, yeah, some I've, bad I've seen some. I've had a couple in my face. and I mean, it's part of the game. Uh, things happen, and we play at a fast pace, and we have blades on our skates that are yep. very, very sharp, and, and uh, puck can cut and sticks can cut. So it's, it's obviously... Um, it's in our game. It's just something that's yeah. unfortunate, and, and uh, you never want to see happen to yourself or your teammate or uh, an opponent or anyone. You never want someone to go through it. And so it's. I'm just thankful that it wasn't worse. No. But I've seen I've seen some crazy ones uh, in my in my career so far with other guys I played with or played against. So it's. So only fell back on the crease. It go almost scrambled. And Gerard Gallant's skate came right down on his face. Yeah. Filleted his face. By the time you get back to the back to the Toronto bench, the white towel was crimson. Yeah, blood. yeah, mine was pretty bloody back here. I, I mean, the facial scar and all that. I mean, I can deal with that. It's just my eye. I was the most worried about it. Sure. I mean, you want to have a normal life after hockey and and have, uh, I mean, both eyes to see and and it's uh, it's uh, something I'm very thankful that yeah. didn't happen. So that's my biggest thing. I can deal with the scars and. And all that happens, I was just worried about my eye.